Welcome to this video and in this video I'll show you how to create your own research assistant so that whatever you need to research it happens completely on autopilot. This is going to be really helpful especially if you need to do research continuously on a regular basis for work purposes like let's say you're creating content or whatever else you're doing or for study purposes let's say that you're in university or whatever you're doing okay and before we jump in the video hit the subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any awesome content that is coming out on AI systems automations and more let's dive in so as always my favorite tool right now is make.com and this is the first thing that you need to do you need to create a make account or if you have a make account just use it and by the way guys this video is going to be packed with value totally packed with value i'm going to share some mind-blowing stuff and all of the automations and the prompts are going to be in the description below you can just uh, go ahead and grab them for free okay first thing that you need to do is you need to go to make.com and create a new scenario okay and the first thing that you need to add here which is going to be the trigger is a google sheets trigger and you need to choose get range values okay so you click on get range values then you need to find the spreadsheet and the sheet id and i will choose enter manually and the spreadsheet id basically you will uh, go to your spreadsheet and then you need to copy this whole line after the slash uh, over here and before the next slash over here so you come here copy you go back here paste it cool and then the sheet name you find it down here so it's going to be sheet one in this case so we go back here and then the range what you want to choose is a2 to f2 in this case and i'm going to explain why so I'm just going to say a2 and then colon and then f2 fantastic and then table contains headers you choose no you leave it at no okay so i'm going to explain why and then over here at the schedule settings you will have to decide when you want your assistant to do the research but regarding the research and regarding scanning url scanning the web and then finding different info it's very very accurate so for this purpose we need perplexity okay and i have already added perplexity to this account by the way we need to just create a chat completion you will not have this interface if you have to add it you will have only i think the connection and then a field saying api key you need to connect your api key okay so now i'm going to show you how to connect the api key you basically need to go to your perplexity account you need to scroll down here at this little settings icon you need to click it and then you need to come here at api if it's the first time that you're using perplexity then you will not have any api key so you need to click over here at this little button that says generate and by the way you need to purchase credits to um to use perplexity but it's very very cheap it's super nice to have and you can purchase like a five dollars credit ten dollars whatever you want okay so fantastic when you have the api key you come here you copy the key and then you drop it over here and then you add perplexity to make.com okay uh when you have added perplexity then you need to choose the model just leave the model as it is it's very uh, llama 3 whatever this model is is very nice it works very nice then you need to add the item over here and then over here for the role just choose user and then over here at the content you need to drop this prompt in perplexity and we're going to do a few tweaks in the prompt by the way you're going to find the prompt in the description below with all of the other free ai resources that i give you and this prompt by the way was inspired by another guy on youtube don't remember his name but I just wanted to say that I tweaked it a bit and then I adjusted it to my needs. So, uh, yeah, you just take this and you copy, you paste it here. Fantastic. And then there are a few things that you need to change here. Okay. So the first thing is that, as you can see here, for example, there is the word subject in brackets. There is another phrase in brackets here that says purpose of use of information again subject subject and in this case what you need to do is you need to come here to google sheet and then the subject is in the a column this is going to be the subject so every single time that you see subject in brackets over here you just delete it and then you click on a and then again subject over here you delete it fantastic so i replaced every single time subject was in brackets then the next thing is purpose of use of information which is the b column it should be over here fantastic next is the list of sectors which is in the column c so we find list of sectors over here and we replace it and by the way you just need to replace the words and the phrases in brackets just one time and then it's gonna work like clockwork okay then list of countries or areas or demographic groups 
you delete this it's in the d column so we come back here and then we click on d list the keywords relevant to the research which is e and then date which is going to be f fantastic and then the prompt is ready we can click on ok and what you need to do because we have set this automation to get triggered every single sunday at 7 um 7 32 over here what you need to do is make sure that every single week before sunday 7 30 you need to come here and then you need to fill out the different fields for the research assistant to use because let's say for example this week you wanted the research assistant to do research in the subject of artificial intelligence um, the purpose was i have a blog and i want to post the information in my blog and on my social media the list of sectors that you want the research assistant to research let's say it was healthcare and government but the next week the list is something else then the list of countries areas or demographic groups were usa canada and uk for this week list of keywords relevant to the research were taxes economy ai and then later than date first of january 2024 which means that the research assistant is going to research for um, for information and articles and different things later than 1st of January 2024 okay so that you get like up-to-date information so with that being said I always suggest that when you start using automations you always quality check the outputs in the beginning okay so if you have outputs from perplexity I would always suggest that you get that output in a message in an email somehow okay all right fantastic so next module is gonna be slack and you will choose create a message or you can choose email or whatever you want and then you need to choose your own account and then select from the list public channel uh research assistant then over here at the text you can say something like check this new research out and then you need to go over here at choices, message, content. Okay, fantastic. And then we're gonna run it once. Fantastic. And then the message is there. So let's see what happened. So basically, what it does, it lists different things. For example, the advancements that happened lately, uh, the use cases of AI in that instance, because AI was our subject. Then recent use cases, specific sectors that we chose: healthcare, government sector specific impact like healthcare government economy taxes because we we talked about taxes too then future predictions in my prompt i talk about perplexity giving us future predictions too i like what i see over here i'm gonna leave the prompt like that if you need to tweak the prompt for you for your specific case then uh, feel free to do so so if you want the research assistant to do just research and that's it and nothing else then you can keep the workflow like that. But let's say now that you want to add content creation to this assistant, okay? So it researches about the subject and then creates content regarding that subject. I'm going to show you some fantastic stuff in this video. Just stick till the end. You're going to, I think I'm going to blow your mind, okay? Next thing that you want to do is have a router. What the router does is that basically it branches out an automation and you can have different automations here flowing. For example, what we're going to create now is ChatGPT creating text for LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and X, which is Twitter, basically, formerly Twitter, based on the information that Perplexity gave us. But as an added bonus to the video, I want to show you how to create content that sounds more like you and not like AI. So there are two things that you want to do, and let me break them down as simply as possible. So over here, if you would go over here and then you would go to ChatGPT and then let's say that you wanted to create a completion. So what create a completion does is basically takes a prompt and executes it, okay? But I don't want to have a prompter. I want to train ChatGPT to sound like me. And there is another thing that you can do, not through create a completion, but if I cancel this and delete this module, what you can do is you can come here and you can click on message and assistant. Okay, so now what is an assistant? I don't know if you're aware of it, but you can create custom GPTs on ChatGPT to do specific functions for example i have created a specific gpt over here that you can see and you can find in the description below that you can literally just start with a hi then it asks you a few questions and then you answer these questions and in the end it gives you fantastic copy fantastic text for your ad and even generates a creative for you to run an ad on facebook or instagram okay so these are custom gpts and these custom gpts do very specific functions okay so now if we go back to make.com we cannot access custom gpts through create a completion and in general you cannot access custom gpts these custom gpts over here i have different custom gpts i have created over here so basically you cannot access custom gpts at chatgpt.com but you can access custom gpts if you go to platform.openai 
Com. And this is called the playground. Over here, you have assistants. And I created today four assistants. One assistant is a pro Instagram post editor. Another assistant is a pro X, which is Twitter post editor, pro Facebook post editor, and pro LinkedIn post editor. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to program these custom assistants to sound like you specifically. So, what I did is that I took emails that I had typed in the past myself over here with my own tone and my own voice, which is, I'm not gonna go into it, but there are different emails. And then I say the above are emails that I have personally written. Analyze the writing voice, tone, and structure of the article above. Actually, I should have said of the emails above. Output detailed bullet points, okay. And then it outputs different bullet points. I dropped it in ChatGPT for row. It outputs writing voice, tone, structure, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then I say, perfect. My goal with this conversation is to get an output from you that I can copy paste in a custom GPT in ChatGPT's playground and create assistants that sound like me. Based on the above information, give me a detailed output that I can copy paste in a new assistant and it can sound like me. And then in the end, I say, give me more detailed voice, tone, structure, explain in depth how my communication and personality is coming across. And then it gives me voice, conversational and direct, engaging and provocative, persuasive and confident, relatable and empathetic, blah, blah, blah. Okay, interesting. And then I say, give me a deeper explanation so the GPT can clone my personality. Give me as much data as it's needed to do so. And it gives me a bunch of data. And then literally I just copy all of this data. You go over here to assistance. And then over here, you can just paste it here. And a few more things that I did to really make the GPT sound like me or as close to me as possible. I said, on a scale of one, extremely casual, to 100, super formal, you're at 30. Don't use phrases like harness, tap into and reflect, or similar ones that sound like AI wrote them. I hate this, by the way. Don't use any ending sentences like ready to ride the AI wave and transform your business. And I said, but rather end off with a relevant question based on the article you're receiving. You can say something along the lines, what do you guys think? Or give a first person statement that sounds like an opinion based on the above. And I also said, you talk often in first person, you use phrases like, like, let me tell you, by the way, in similar conversational ones. All right, so let's see how it does when I drop this article in the custom GPT. Paste, tick, run. And it says, hey, folks, ever wondered how AI is transforming our world right now? Let me break it down for you. Advancements in AI, we've seen job dropping progress in natural language processing, computer vision, and machine learning. Think about AI models diagnosing disease from medical images or generating lifelike text. It's something out of sci out of a sci-fi movie so this is really good okay i wouldn't say hey folks but fine i can tweak it a bit more but this is way closer to how i would speak naturally and not like ai speaks okay ai isn't just a buzzword it's an evolving tool what does this mean for you how do you see ai affecting your industry let's start this is really good so what i would suggest for you is you take emails that you had written posts that you post it online at some point. Uh, you can even take voice recordings or literally what you can do is you can take your phone and record a voice note with you chatting for five minutes, 10 minutes, drop it in ChatGPT and ask it to transcribe it and then do this whole process after that. Okay, so after you have done that, then you create the different assistants. I created four assistants and the only thing that I changed between the assistants were the instructions where for LinkedIn, I said you're a pro LinkedIn post editor blah, blah, blah. And then I said, keep it under 1500 characters. Then for X, I said, you're a pro X post editor. Your purpose is to receive information and then turn that information into an engaging written post on X. Keep it super concise under 280 characters. Get straight to the point. I don't want any headlines, questions. X is for you to get straight to the point. Then pro Facebook post editor. And then for Instagram, uh, it's basically the same thing. Pro Instagram post editor. Keep it under a thousand Characters. Fantastic. Then we go back to make. And what you do here is you message an assistant and then you choose your assistant. And let's say the assistant is pro Instagram post editor. Um, then the role is user. And then the message is create a copy for an Instagram post based on this. And then you come here to perplexity, choices, message, content. Fantastic. The next step, let's say that you want to create also the creative. So you go over here, ChatGPT again, and you go to generate an image, model DALI 3, prompt, create a textless, no text on the image, creative for Instagram based on this, keep it square 1080 times 1000 
ChatGPT pixels. And by the way, the reason that I asked for textless is because ChatGPT at this point makes many mistakes and many typos when it comes to adding text on photos. So I prefer textless. And then you go over here, choices, message, content, fantastic. All right, and let's run this and let's see what happens. Cool, so let's take a look at the copy and the image. So you go over here to output, content, one, text, value. Hey everyone, let's dive into the exciting world of AI. AI adoption is on the rise with a whopping 62% of organizations using AI in 2023. That's a big jump from 40% in 2020, blah, blah, blah. What excites you most about these AI trends? Let me know. This is really good. It's really personal. It sounds like an actual person wrote it and I'm very, very happy with the output. So let's see the creative data one. All right, so I asked for textless and there couldn't have been more text on this photo. Okay, so again, when you start playing with the prompts, just keep refining them. I'm not, I wouldn't post that, I hate this photo. But uh, yeah, this is why you always need to refine the post until you're ready and until, let's say that you're happy about the output 10 times in a row, then you can just go ahead and let it roll. Or you can always quality check before you post online okay so in this case let's say that we're happy about the creative and the text i'm really happy about the text next thing would be to go to facebook facebook pages create a post then connect your facebook and create a post on uh, on your account then next thing would be to clone this and to put it over here and let's say that this time we want to create a post for text so we would go over here and we would choose pro x post editor and then for the message would be create a copy for x for an x post based on this fantastic so let's run this one more time and let's see what happens specifically over here for x actually there is an error that happens here and it says value exceeded maximum length of 400 characters in parameter prompt so what i would do here is i would delete this because actually i don't need this because before it would take the whole perplexity article that article was more than 4,000 characters so if we don't need that we can also go one step back and go to content at ChatGPT over here, content, text, value, because it's the same post, it's the same piece of information. So we would go over here to value, okay, and let's run it again. All right, so it creates the X post right now, but I'm really interested in checking the creative out. Let's check this out. All right, it's kind of better, but I still don't like it. I, I actually hate it. So let's see the post about X. Big steps in AI, we've seen breakthroughs in natural language processing and computer vision along with AIs rising tide across industries like healthcare, blah, blah, blah. And in the end, it says thoughts. Fantastic. I love the output on text and on copy for the different social media. And again, let's say I wanted to post that. I would go to X, create a post. And over here, I would do basically the same. Okay, I would clone this, click delete module. Then I would choose another assistant over here. Let's say Facebook. And then I would choose LinkedIn for the last one. Okay. Anyway, guys, so this is pretty much it. And this is how you do it. So the only thing that you need to really focus on is that before this workflow gets triggered every Sunday at 7.32, you make sure that you come to the Google Sheet over here and then you sit down and say, which subject do I want the research assistant to research on this week? You drop it here, purpose of information, list of sectors, different things over here. And then let's say that you want to research the same subject over and over again. You can just leave it like that and it's fine. Okay. So guys, I hope you got a lot of value in this video. If you like content like that, hit the subscribe to the channel because I'm coming out with a lot of content and I want to create a fantastic community of people that are interested in AI, systems, automations to basically accelerate your growth in achieving any target that you want, any goal that you have. And we're growing this community day by day. We're going to be coming out with fantastic stuff some courses, some communities. I'm going to talk about this stuff later in other videos. But again, if you like content like that, hit the subscribe. Check out all of the automations, the prompt and the free resources in the description below. And by the way, these free resources are automations and prompts that I've used in the past. And you're going to also have access to anything that will come out in the future. Okay. Anyways, guys, I appreciate your attention and I'll see you in the next video.